Sky Chicago. Sky Chicago. Only way to keep calm is trouble where us have a serene, serene mind. Paul for the penitentiary. Down here with Owens, we and we did Paul for the penitentiary. And I put on my Facebook page today. He, you know, he wanted to put on the page, but yeah. Uh, how you doing, Otis? Oh, uh, once again, my name Otis, uh, and I like. I'm down with Michael Scott, you know, and uh, we always talk about pause before the penitentiary. I just want to like some of the people out there. How the things are changing, how society is having, you know, basically like alcohol is not a drug. Basically, you know, I kind of looked down today because a friend of mine, you know, at a safe haven. He went back to Cook County Sheriff, came and picked him up yesterday because he couldn't stop drinking. Well, his disease of addiction had him drinking sanitized. You know? So he's drinking sanitizer? You know, I say sanitizer mine, but you said people people now are drinking hand sanitizer now? Yeah, hand sanitizer. He's got 70% alcohol and it. it. won't show up as a, oh. a, a bad blow or nothing like that, but it will have you messed up. It'll have you so drunk and you feel like you just drunk some wild average road. So the young boys are drinking a hand sanitizer nowadays? Yeah. So leader, yeah, we want us to leave that stuff alone. We, want us, we don't drink it. You don't want to smoke weed in order to legalize it. No, we don't smoke weed. And and tell them about, going back to, uh, now where you come, tell them about your lifestyle. Where you come, how many times you, where you come from, uh, Otis? Well, my, like I say, you know, I've been in the county jail over 198 times. I've been in prison like, 11 times, you know. Uh, you in prison 11 times? You was, on, you, was, you, you was on death row before, wasn't you? You said, Joe? Oh, yeah. Once before, I, I kind of talked to you about I was, uh, back in 84, I had a, a police murder. You know, I, I stayed locked up in the county jail from 84 to 86 and beat it out, you know, and went home. And, and that was the blessing right there. That was the miracle because, you know, it really, it, it wasn't like just by him being a police officer. You know, back then, you know, I had turned myself in to rush you know, and he picked me up, you know, and took me to 111, from 111 to the Cook County Jail. But but the things that's going on today in society, you know, a lot of- oh, You said Larry, you said Larry's real sick right now, because you, you, you just, it's called, you sporty G back in the day. We said yeah, Larry, you said- friend of mine, you know, like, we got a lot of guys trying to get him home, man, you know, because he got older, he, you know, he's sickly. You know, his mom passed away here a while back, you know, and uh, Conway and a, other, a bunch of other guys is trying to get him to come home. You know, with society, with the, with the smartness and, 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 and the knowledge that Larry Hoover got, you know, society don't want him to give it to the generation because it's all designed for incarceration. It's all designed, even with legalizing marijuana, you know, that's the, that's the gateway drug. That starts your mind. You know, and uh, so did your did your your addiction start with marijuana too? Yeah, I started off with marijuana. I yeah, went from, went from one doobie, one joint. You know, then I graduated to a whole nickel bag from that to a dime, from that to a lead, from a lead to a fourth of a pound. And I thought, I, and I got to the fourth of a pound, I thought I'd be selling, but I smoked more than I sold. Yeah, monkey can't sell bananas. And matter of fact, this is the state of North, Sanctuary City, and they, they, you know, and they had a problem. With one of uh, they got some drugs come from Mexico, and they had a big thing with the uh, that I see the news coming on it with the uh, Cook County Sheriff had one of the guys bringing it. And, and you know, this is, uh, but recovery, you know, this is essential. Keeping people from penitentiary, keeping people from alcohol, drugs. Uh, cigarettes kills eight million people to build people with cigarettes. So we talking about a compulsion doing something against our will. So I'm here with like a, a, a sporty G with change. You know, he's trying to still, still uh, stay, you know, keep his life on a, a good order. So what's go going on, Aldous? Well, today I'm at the mustard seed. I was ordered to come down to the mustard seed. I got a 27-year-old son. He crossed that visible line. You know, he waited to 26 years old and started smoking marijuana. Now he can't stop. So what I, my idea, my plan is, if you learn something about that disease of addiction now, then you have a halfway chance. Yeah, you know, you know, I was on the train yesterday. The man was walking on the train. Talking about, he was selling loud. They they smoking on the trains now, man. What is going? On? Wow, this world, this this world is a change, man. It's turned to a twilight zone. So we yeah. we trying to keep people from going from the penitentiary. And keep on, you know, what what advice you got from the for the young boys? Because there's a lot of madness going on today. You know, like we don't we don't deal with guns because, like, down in the state of uh, down the young boy got uh got killed down in Memphis because everybody's uh they don't they don't need a license to have a gun. But we talk about we don't need gun wisdom and better weapons of war. That's why I stopped going to water air show. I was getting up four o'clock in the morning. I had a military stuff on. I was holding a gun ten years old. I don't hold guns today. You know. Yeah, 
Absolutely, you're right, Mike. It's the thing. I must control my emotions, and my emotions will control me. Absolutely. I can't make dogs start barking. <laughs> so we're not, listen, we're not listening to wickedness of the world, because see, you know, you know, we don't follow the crowd because a lot of stuff going on in the world today is wrong. I can't, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I, I want, you, I want to uh, thank, thank you. You remember Willie? My buddy died. You know? Oh yeah, I'm Willie. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Willie was a good. He he went around the whole world, you know, uh, trying to help people uh, turn their life around. And this guy here, mm -hmm. God is using this guy right here, oldest, to keep people from going for the penitentiary. Because, like I say, he did. How many? How many? How many years you did total in penitentiary? I think he did a good. 30 years in prison. Yeah, yeah. You know? And I look back at and, and all that, you know, if the drugs don't kill you, the lifestyle will. You know, it's about a change. If you can catch somebody, you know, and grab them and, 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 and give them some good advice, pull them into this thing, because winners hang is winners. And why, and why the young guys nowadays are going, they're going to the store, stealing stuff? What is that, the flaw? What is that? Is that the, is that the, the marijuana and the Instagram? People are being uh, uh, trapped in isolation, trapped on their phones, and uh, they're smoking weed, and uh, they have no hope. Why is this going on? You know, like Michigan Avenue now, you know, you got riots going on. You got, you got uh, people... You know, people, you can go to, uh, you can't go to cemetery, but they can go to Benny's liquor store and, and get high. You know, what's going yeah. on, Otis? But like you say, you know, Mike, it's, it's, it's all about elimination, like it's over in China. You know, it's about eliminating the population. And, and marijuana making it legal, that can mess up a lot of minds. You know, even with the fentanyl, all they know where it's at, they bring it here. So what I'm saying is, be careful out there because you might pick up a bad bag of death, or and they put fentanyl on everything. They put it yeah, on weed, they put yeah. It on Girls died a, a year hand. and a half ago. See, the company you keep will determine the trouble you meet. Absolutely. And so hang with winners. Yeah, yeah. So I'm glad. I'm glad the judge sent sent the oldest to come see me. You know, because uh, he's one of the guys can help these guys. You know, like I said, he 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 knows all the, he knows all the guys. He didn't he didn't did all the penitentiary penitentiary bits, and you know, and he's he's he's, he's it's cool to be a square. So I'm glad. To, uh, Absolutely. I, every time this guy come out of penitentiary, he come looking for me, and I and I always try. You know what I'm saying? We don't shoot our wounded. We try to help people. And I'm glad that Otis is back on the scene, uh, putting the work in out here in the community. Uh, I remember one year he brought he he gave he gave the kids some toys. When I heard a girl a woman yesterday saying that you know she said her phone when she took the uh, took the phone for her little her little granddaughter baby the baby started crying. You know so uh, yeah toys and us went out of business a couple of years ago. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, the kids don't look. They don't look at toys. They look at the cell phones, Absolutely. and that's a part of the isolation. You know, addicted to the phone. So I'm glad that uh, uh, talking to this guy. Like I said, he told me something I didn't, I didn't know what was going on. Is people are drinking sanitizer now? They drinking that? Absolutely, it's, it's it's off the chain, you know, and they can't stop because they don't know nothing about the disease and addiction that they have. It's a progressive illness. It don't get better. It get worse and worse and worse. That's what Otis got for you today. So any, any last words uh, before we, we shut down uh, Otis? Yes, yes it is, Mike. Pause before the penitentiary. Winners hang with winners. You want to be a winner? Hang with a winner. You want to be a mechanic? Hang with the mechanics. That's how it go, Mike. That's all I got today. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, uh, thanks Otis.